can see you go away and then you come back and it's autumn this is saturday the 13th of october 2012 maybe and it's coming up to 10 to 7 in the morning and it's damp and misty and the color balance is autumn Okay, so that's the money got, the paper's got. There's a little bit of dawn in the sky. Or maybe just a touch of the moon. Who knows? Okay, it's Tiny Rebel Day. After Newport. So Newport isn't misty. Uh, there's the Starbucks, which is going to be my first port call. And later on, uh, this tiny rebel HQ. And as I've said that before. Yeah, anyway, sit in the window by there. Well, this is Newport. Morgan with a chippy right next to it. Now there's a plan. Quirky? Who knows? Good question. Right, okay. We're going to start with a carpet review for Mr. Manning. Anyway, Godfrey Morgan. And starting with Ringwood's Old Thumper, which is 5.6% alcohol by volume. And that is that's a nice looking point to his head. So, that's like full of taste. That is really full of taste. It's sort of creamy and. It's a beat plus. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more sauce, I think. But still, there you go. And number two. Apparently, the coolant system for the beers has gone down, which might explain the last one with the variation in taste. Although, this. this it's not cold, but it's not warm. And anyway, show us over beer the temperature in the east works. These are ales, so they shouldn't be served cold. Because if you do, they taste watery. This is Exmoor Gold, and it's 4.5% alcohol by volume. Look at the carpet, Mr. Manning. See those white spots? That's the sun. Who'd have thought? Anyway. Ooh. I don't know, this is. It's at least a B plus, if not more. But it does have a sort of bittery, full hmm, B plus plus, maybe. Today could be a good day. A pint of the Reverend James from Brains. Four and a half percent on the hobo volume with the Weather Sport magazine in the background. This is cool. That was wonderful. I've given it a B plus in the past. I think I might give that an A minus. I will. A minus. On my way to the pen. And I'm back for the tiny rebel. Um, no tiny rebel till midweek. 
However, pint of bass and a bag of KP dry roasted peanuts. So, this might be the first time for untapped. Not as nutty as it used to be, but still nutty. A minus. We're back in town. And I missed the last glass, which was a genuine bass glass, actually. So was this. However, the Tiny Rebel is on, and this is Urban IPA, and we love IPAs. Oh wow, that's almost an A, that's like almost an A, there is so much taste in that, these tiny rebel boys, they are the way forward. So okay here I'm going to struggle with my wash, this is from the Kite Brewery in Carmarthenshire, we're in Carmarthenshire it doesn't say but I had some happy times there. 4% alcohol by volume. Court of Gorslas. <sighs> Maybe. Anyway, here's the pinkies. There's the internet. Oh, this is not bad. It tastes like an IPA. It tastes like a slightly thick thicker. Wicker version of uh, Urban IPA. It's good. A minus. Easily. Well, these IPAs are going in well today. 